Hi all folks, this is Max from HTCEvoHacks.com. So today I'm going to attempt to um, root the latest update. Uh, I've updated my phone, unrooted it back to... Um, if you go to more and... Oh, sorry. If you have the uh, 2.08.651.2. If you have that, then you will have to follow this method. Um, that is the latest version. So if you have that, uh, what you're going to do is go to settings and go to power and enable fastboot, or sorry, uncheck fastboot, okay? And then you're going to turn off your phone, alright, power off, and take off the USB um, connector, micro USB, and when it completely turns off, uh, hold down the volume down and the power button and then hold them down together until you get into H boot take a second or two alright and then what you'll do is you will um, hit the power button again and it'll say locked right at the top so let's go unlock it fast boot and um, when it says fast boot there, connect it to your computer via a USB cable. Alright. And then we're gonna go to our computer and it'll say you fast boot USB. Alright. And next you're gonna go download this file called Evo 3D New dot zip. And when you unzip it, you'll get a folder like this, alright? And uh, basically put it somewhere where you can find it. I put it in my C directory. Uh, let me show you. I put it in my C directory. Um, root Evo 3D new there. So in here, and you'll find these files. Uh, if you have Windows, you need to install these drivers right here, the HCC driver. If you don't have it installed, run that, okay? And uh, next, this also works for Mac or Linux, by the way. Uh, next, what you're going to do is open up a command prompt or shell for Linux and Mac. Uh, for Windows, type uh, cmd under start search, and you'll get a command prompt like this. All right. And next, next you're gonna type fastboot uh, space om space get underscore identifier. That's i d e n t i f i e r underscore token. Let me zoom in. And this this will give you the unlocking code that you'll need to go to HTC site to um, get the token. So let me enter it and hit enter. Oh, sorry. You gotta change the directory first. So go see, go change it to the directory where you copied it over. For me, it's cd backslash evo 3d uh, new like that. Uh, by the way, this is backslash, not this way. And for those of you Linux and Mac, it'll be the other slash. Um, go to the directory. I know a lot of you guys have trouble when you do this. Um, just just uh, put the folder that you unzipped into the root folder of your C directory uh, for most Windows PCs. And then you can do cd backslash uh, root evo 3d new. And then we're going to type that again, fast boot OEM get identifier token. And this will give you the token that you need. And as you can see, it says, please cut following message, um, start and end. So you're going to cut, you're going to copy and paste. The way to do it is right click on the, uh, for Windows, um, right, click, right click and hit mark. And then drag from where it starts, uh, B right there. And then go all the way down to here. And then to copy it, do another right click, right? All right. And then you're going to go to htcdev.com all right let me show you and uh, if you go to this site and uh, let me give you what it looks like if you go to this site there is a menu oops uh, unlock bootloader so click on unlock bootloader and then get started and then you can hit uh, begin the unlock bootloader right and then say yes and agree and you'll have to actually sign up for ACC sign up and confirm your email and then you'll get these instructions and just keep going um, this is I just told you how to do this and I've you don't need all these files because I've got it in the zip file 
and go to step eight and then you come to this this area right here I'm um, sorry and you're gonna you're gonna do right click and paste all right and submit Oh, I, I see what happened. I got it working. Oh, what you gotta do is copy this uh, mark and copy it all over. And in Windows 7, for some reason, add a space. Um, do right click and then open up a notepad and copy it over and get rid of these first spaces. All right, like that. And then copy it. And if you go back here and paste it in and submit, you'll get success. And a success. Um, so you'll get a, an email uh, with the unlock key and we'll go on from there. So you'll get this unlock code right dot bin um, download it all right and then copy it over to the folder um, where you unzip the file. So I'm gonna do copy and I'm gonna go into my root evo 3d new and I'm gonna paste it here. All right, and then we can go back to the command prompt. And next, uh, let me get rid of this. Uh, what we're gonna type is, we're gonna type uh, fastboot flash uh, unlock token, oops, and type un unlock code underscore code dot bin, and press enter, oops. And then go to your phone and it will ask you uh, if you want to unlock the bootloader. Hit yes. Oh, volume up, sorry. And hit the power button. It's working. So I've got my phone unlocked. Next, we're going to have to. Uh, install the custom recovery and see if we got a rooted Evo 3D. Next the phone rebooted um, so my phone is unlocked but we need to install super user app and also uh, have the ability to install new ROM. So let's see if we can go, actually this is my first time doing it, uh, let's see if we can go install a clockwork mod recovery and the SU files. So I've got to have to reboot into um, fastboot all right so i just unlocked it um it seems like it's actually starting over so just just know you guys uh should know that this might erase um all your all your apps um i've had it on the stock so i'm not sure oh my god there's so much stuff here anyway we're gonna uh, go reboot it into fastboot real quick. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you, um, for Mac and Linux, uh, in the same folder, there's uh, fastboot-mac and fastboot-linux. You just have to use those files instead of the fastboot. Um, sorry I've skipped that, but it's in there. So next, we're gonna have to uh, make sure it's gonna be um, under power, settings power, Fastboot is checked off, that way we can boot into the bootloader. And uh, let's power it off. All right, and then we're gonna, we're gonna reboot it uh, into bootloader. All right, and fastboot. All right. Come on. Okay, it's still going. This LED got to go off. All right, and then take the USB cable out and hold down the volume down, and then hit the power button. And then we're back, and it says unlocked, but still S on. Um, I think we can fix that. Connect your USB cable, and click on uh, fast boot and hit the power button. All right, and let's go to our computer again. Next, you're going to go back to the command prompt and type fastboot flash recovery space and we're going to 
type CWM-4.0.1.4 shooter.img. This is a clockwork mod recovery for Vivo 3D. Hopefully this will work. And press enter. And once that's done, we're gonna try to go back to our phone and reboot into recovery. And if we can do that, um, we can, in fact, flash super user uh, and flash other ROMs. So that's been flashed and uh, you can hit power on there and then try to go to recovery and hit the power button and hopefully we'll have a uh, recovery here and once we have recovery S on or S off shouldn't really matter um, so we've got the clockwork mod recovery and what you're gonna do is go to mounts and storage hit the power button go to mount USB storage hit the power button alright and then you're gonna go back to your computer and then go back to the root evo 3d new and copy over this file su-2.3.6.3 efig this is this um, rooting files and this is my evo 3d and just copy it over and paste um, oh i already copied it over so from last time i rooted so copy it over um, you can also take out your sd card and put it in your computer via a micro SD card um, adapter and copy it that way too. But let's go back to our phone <laughs> and uh, hit the power button and um, go back to go back and uh, install zip from SD card and hit the power button and then choose zip from SD card, hit the power button. And then go find the uh, file su-2.6.3. Um, dash the one you copied over earlier, and hit the power button. And say yes, and hit the power button. And that's done. Uh, we're gonna hit go back, reboot mm -hmm. system now, and hopefully we have um, the um, rooted files installed. And uh, your phone now should be rooted, even with um, the latest software update. So, I'll be back when this reboots. Um, so, let's go see if we have super user. And uh, super user. And uh, if you have super user, then that means you've got root. Um, so, that's how you root uh, using on the latest OTA update, uh, which is settings about uh, software information 2.08.651.2. Uh, make sure you back up all your apps, um, or you're gonna probably lose all your apps and stuff. So just know that before you begin um, for this routing method from HTC. Um, it doesn't give you S off, but it's the same thing. Um, you just have to. Um, flash this custom recovery and now you've got we've got root so thanks y'all and subscribe and don't forget to um don't forget to subscribe all right thanks see y'all later and just an extra bonus um i'm gonna s show you that i can install another rom so i'm installing another rom synergy i highly recommend it by the way it's probably the best 3d rom uh, i'm gonna just make sure even with s on i can install new roms then it S on doesn't really mean anything. Um, just so long as you have unlock sign on top of your um, H uh, bootloader. So I'll be back when this is done. Hi, all folks. So I was able to install the new ROM. So the HTC uh, unlocking method works. Um, you just have S on, but you just have to uh, just follow this video instructions and also at my site htcevohacks.com. Uh, and thanks to the guys at Revolutionary for providing the Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, don't forget to uh, donate to these guys at revolutionary.io. Um, and um, don't forget to subscribe. And alright, I've got my 3D Evo rooted again. <laughs> so happy. I was going to die, but I'm happy now. See you later.